I don't need any help bringing my own juice, making sure I finish it every time I touch the ball. I slammed on the brakes, made a couple guys miss, finished in the end zone. So that's my brand, feed me. Feed the pig. He'll give it to Elliott, big hole on the left of the 10. Banks to the goal line, touchdown Elliott. This will be a dog walk. Walk the dog, G. Walk the dog. Hey, hey, let me feed the pigs. You know the music. Time now to welcome in senior NFL writer Jeremy Fowler and J-Bone. There might be a reason why we didn't use any Zeke and New England Patriots gear highlights right there, because there's a possibility that Zeke might be able to eat again in the DFW. What more can you tell us about a potential reunion on this front? Yeah, gee, I'm told from sources that the Cowboys and Ezekiel Elliott are open to a potential reunion. There's nothing imminent, but they know where each other stands, and there is some mutual interest here. So after eight years in the league, seven with Dallas, one with New England, the Cowboys still like how Elliott's running the ball. They feel like there's a good marriage. They know each other well. They feel like Zeke Elliott's going to work hard, get ready for the offseason work. Now, this wouldn't be a situation where he's getting 250 carries a game like he used to. It's a different scenario, but Dallas will probably go with a running back by committee approach after losing Tony Pollard so they need familiar faces who can ground and pound for them a little bit seven seasons in Dallas Zeke ran for over a thousand in four of those let's stay in the division with the commanders holding the number two overall pick in next month's draft there's a lot of teams maybe calling about the price of a certain yeah. good and what it would potentially take to move up into that spot what's the latest on that front Jeremy Yeah, Gary, so I just checked in on this, and I was told that teams are still in that feeling out process. They've made calls, but there haven't been any sort of offers that have wowed Washington enough to move from that number two spot. So right now they're standing pat. I checked with somebody with the team who said that they have not made any firm plans yet as to what they're doing with that second overall pick. They just got through the pro day circuit. Boards for teams are typically not set yet, so they'll go through the next week or two, grinding the tape, figure out all the positions, what's best for them at number two. So. Certainly there were some vibes out of LSU's pro day with Jaden Daniels that they liked what they saw. Obviously, Drake May, very talented. The day later, they got through his pro day circuit. So yeah, there's a little Jaden Daniel buzz right now, but, but nothing firm as to what they're going to do. I, I think that from what I was told, they like a lot of these quarterbacks. It's yeah. not just one that they're dead set on at the moment. Listen, it would be rude not to pick up the phone call, but it's not as if the commanders can't just stay right there at the number two overall pick because they've used 12 different starting QBs since just yeah. 2018. 